Welcome back to The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day. And on today's show, we're going to talk about one of my top crypto projects and one of my top NFT projects. For the crypto aspect, of course it is Matic Polygon. And for my favorite NFT, well, one of my top favorite NFT projects, it's going to be Planet IX. One of the reasons why we're talking about Planet IX and why we have partnered with them for this video is because Planet IX is utilizing Polygon technology. And anytime a play to earn Web3 gaming project is interested in Matic, I'm automatically interested in them. I kind of want to follow them and see what they're doing. I highly recommend if you enjoy this video, not only to like, subscribe, set alerts, but of course, make sure to follow Planet IX on their socials, join their Discord and ask the team questions. Now, before we merge over to the Planet IX website, they are a Web3 NFT based strategy game. And they've been able to onboard approximately 200,000 users from Web2 to Web3, which is absolutely outstanding. As most of you know, there's a little bit of reserve when it comes to Web2 to Web3, especially with NFTs and gaming. A lot of the gamers aren't necessarily ready to merge over, but Planet IX has done a great, great job on getting these users. Also, they have a play to earn game, but it's more of like a trading and strategy game with some DeFi and some governance elements. And on top of it, they will be launching very, very soon a F2P, which is known as free to play, game called Moon Mission. And that's going to be coming soon. And that I'm really, really excited for because we want to break down those barriers so everybody has a shot at playing and earning. Also to you guys, the game focuses on rebuilding and rejuvenating barren wasteland from ancient human civilization, which is kind of similar to what we're seeing in this current economy. They're also focused on making long-term sustainable P2E for people across all financial demographics. And that's something that speaks loudly to me. And in addition to that, this team really, really cares about the tokenomics and the sustainability of their project. That was actually one of the questions that I asked them was, how do you guys anticipate sustaining? with your tokenomics model, because we've seen a lot of play to earn projects fail miserably. And the team has assured me that they've thought this through. One thing I do want to invite you guys to do is they have a very robust 75 page white paper with a lot of information. So if you're somebody that is super, super technical, I highly recommend you check that out. Also, we're going to head over to the website, talk about some of their in-game items talk about some other facts there. And of course, of course, of course, if you want to check out their token, they are currently listed on CoinGecko and you can see that they are a Polygon based project and they've been listed for approximately 10 months, I believe, which is outstanding. And last but not least, Planet IX is really, really focused on just creating an ecosystem for both established players and a lot of brand new players who are coming into the NFT Web3 space. All right, so this is going to be their website here. And we talked about the Planet IX white paper, which is now available, something you should read. All right, so we talked about their native token. and It is also listed on CoinGecko. You guys can go ahead, see where it's listed, check out all the stats, make sure everything makes sense to you, join the community before investing or participating. But they do have IXT staking. So they have approximately 24 million in the reward pool. Again, anytime we're talking about staking or earning some of that passive income, I always like to use a moon bag because that helps mitigate risk. And it's basically a virtual copy of planet Earth as your arena. And your goal is to rebuild the planet. Remember, we talked about a barren wasteland, but you get to integrate trading and DeFi strategies as well, which is super, super cool. So as far as collecting goes, your PIX NFT is used to gain more control of planet IX's total landmass and form territory NFTs to unlock further rewards. So basically, the more NFTs you have, the more say you have in this particular ecosystem, which makes sense. Just like you're acquiring more land or more supplies if you're playing one of those old school medieval games, etc. And then as far as trading goes with the other AOCs to lay your hands on those picks, you want to expand your collection. So you basically can trade with different people in the ecosystem to expand your collection and gain more control. And of course, you get to develop strategies, join forces with others, maybe join a guild, maybe we'll do one, and kind of build up facilities and restore the beauty of Planet IX. And as far as the game goes, the mission is to explore the world, collect NFTs, and trade them in the marketplace. In addition, challenge other players, play with people, meet people, network. That's what you, exactly you should be doing in the bear market is networking. 
So there's different PIX tiers. So the core asset of planet IX is PIX, and it's an individual hexagon shaped piece of land. So basically you wanna acquire these, you wanna get different parts of the planet and see how much territory you can absorb. So they've got Arctic, they have got Countryside Arena, and they also have Capital City Center, just some to note. And of course they have pack drops. The pack drops is the only way of commencing and maintaining your collection. Every Monday, you guys, at noon UTC, 12 p.m. UTC, picks can be bought in mixed packs containing a rich quantity and variety of different picks tiers and types in specific drop zones. And if you're interested in playing, all you gotta do is connect your MetaMask and get started. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you're interested, make sure to follow Planet IX on Twitter, join their Discord, play, and ask questions. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.